hello hello for crafts creators and welcome back so today we are going to do this handled tumbler i am going to um make it into a camo tumbler i am going to use some alcohol inks that i've made myself so i'll put a link to how i made those somewhere at the top of the screen um so uh but before I do all of that, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you all for watching. And let's get started. Okay, every y'all, everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have the alcohol inks that I've made myself. Um, these little bottles I got from Amazon. Um, I initially had them in another bottle that I got from the Dollar Tree that was, it It doesn't um, allow you to put a little bit out at a time. So I went and got some new bottles. So I'm going to have these bottles in and the video to how to um, make your own alcohol inks in the description box. But right now we're going to get started and that's going to include us mixing um the epoxy which i am doing a couple of cups so i'm not going to give you guys I'm, I'm doing like three different cups so i don't want to tell you to mix a certain amount and then um it'd be more than you need so if i was doing just this cup i would try to do two and a half milliliters of each side um but we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just pause real quick and mix this because I'm gonna do about 10 milliliters. So. After you have mixed your epoxy, the next thing that you wanna do is one, make sure your coat is rotating evenly. Um, you want it to be flat and not going up to one side or another. Um, and then you want to coat that cup um, evenly throughout the cup. Um, once you have done that, the next thing that you're going to do is add your alcohol inks to the cup. Um, and I used a lime green, um, well actually two different types of green, a brown and a black, as well as a gray. Um, because of course I'm going with those typical camo type colors. Uh, what I did find was my alcohol inks, although like that brown one just went on kind of dark, they kind of lightened up. Um, and you want to make sure that you have a good coat of epoxy on because if it's a, if it's too thin, it, t it tends to separate. So, so another thing I kind of learned from doing this. So I ended up going to some of the alcohol inks that I bought from the store just to give it a darker look and feel. And as you can see, um, right now it looks kind of crazy, but um, once I get all the colors in, which I'm just randomly putting them everywhere and making sure I get that handle as well, well, but once I get all of the colors on like I want, I start using my finger to spread those colors around and it seems to give it a better camo type feel. So um, that was pretty much my process. I am going to put a decal on this as well. Um, and I will show you guys that at the end, but this is pretty much my camo technique. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions below. Um, and just as a last little side note, I did add some mica, some glow in the dark mica, so that as it was in the dark, um, it could glow at night so and that was a really cool feature for the receiver of this cup so just another little idea if you wanted to add something to it to give it a little bit more flair so again thank you thank you thank you all for watching i truly appreciate you supporting this channel please look at the links and everything below and with that all being so said i'll see you all the next time